You've probably been hearing about real-time intelligence in Microsoft Fabric, but how is that to relate to SQL and what can you do with it today? Learn more this week on Data Exposed. Hi, welcome back to Data Exposed. Let's get right into it. Today, we're going to be talking about event-driven apps. And to do that, I've brought along Alicia. Alicia, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? OK, thank you, Anand. Hello to all the Data Exposed viewers. I'm Alicia Lee. I'm a principal product manager in Microsoft. So right now, my team and I, we focus on Fabric real-time intelligence. Awesome, great. And real-time analytics is a really hot topic these days for all data people. Um, from your exp experience, like, what are some of the biggest challenges and how does Fabric, RTI, or real-time intelligence help? Okay, thank you for the question. So today's data is coming from everywhere, fast, massive, and messy. And in the age of AI, gaining the actionable insight of the, this data in real time is not something nice to have. It's essential, as data is the fuel for AI. However, as most of you already know, the market in this space still remains very fragmented and complex. To succeed, what our customer actually needs is an easy-of-use solution and end-to-end -end solution that can empower us everyone in our, across the organization to gain the insights behind all of the data which is exactly what the Fabric does. And real-time intelligence is a part of the Fabric family. Fabric real-time intelligence provides an end-to-end -end solution for streaming data from ingestion, transformation, analytics, dashboard, and setup alerts taking actions. It brings several powerful components together, like event stream, taking care of the data ingestion and processing. Event House for the high performance analytics. Digital Twins, our new member, for the real world uh, entity mon modeling. Real time dashboard, you have the visualizations that reflect your changes instantly. Activator, you can set up alerts and taking actions. More importantly, all of this are built on top of the mature Azure streaming platform, which has the proven reliability scalability, security. Together with this low-code, no-code, ease-of-use experience for users across all roles, from the business analyst to the developers like you. Awesome. Cool. I love it. And it's, uh, it's great. I had no idea RTI included so many different things in that it was <laughs> low-code SaaS type of experience. Um, so if I'm a SQL developer today, like how might I use RTI to build an event-driven type of solution or application? Oh, this is a great question. So to answer that question, we have to start with the Fabric Event Stream. So Fabric Event Stream provides three core capabilities, ingestion, processing, and the routing events. For the ingestion part, we build a native, low-latency, scalable, scalable connectors. A rich set of connectors can help you to grab the data from outside the world. So this including the Azure Event Hub, IoT Hub, uh, uh, Apache Kafka, Confluent Kafka, uh, Amazon MSK, Google Pubs Hub, and the CDC from various different databases. Once the data land in event stream, now you have two modes. One we call no code. We have the predefined operators for you to do. You just simply select them, and then they will uh, help you to do the functionalities like a filter, join, change the field, aggregation, et cetera. Also, we provide this a SQL mode, so you can write your own queries to express your business logic and then manipulate the data in the way that you want. After processing, all the processed events will be sent to the destination. So you can send to lake house, event house, activator, or custom endpoint. So with this event stream, now you can architect the uh, real-time streaming applications that can ingest, ingest, transform, summarize, and route events with the minimum in latency. The separation of the event pro producer and uh, consumer supports a flexible, scalable, and uh, or decoupled system. Event stream also offers this we call uh, direct stream, 
So device stream contains the curated reusable results. So you can build a modeling style architectures by leveraging these derived streams. And as you can see here that we have the no code tools. So for you to do the quick prototype, or you can use the SQL to build your advanced scenarios. And the events also becomes the first class triggers for the pipeline. The alerts can be uh, auto treated during this, during this event flow. So we, in that way, we eliminate the need for scheduling the batch jobs. So this is how you building the uh, real-time streaming applications with event stream. Awesome. This is amazing. And you know, you mentioned earlier that event stream supports SQL operators, and you also kind of mentioned it here. Like, I'd love to understand what does that look like in a streaming world, uh, and and how is it different from you know the SQL folks might be familiar with? Uh, great, great question. So, uh, now let's talk about uh, our SQL. So, event stream uh, do have as I mentioned that we have this SQL operator that allow you to use your familiar SQL syntax to express your business logic. For the audience like you, this is faster and more intuitive. And uh, you can also using the joins, window functions, temporal, temporal functions to support advanced uh, scenarios. And within this uh, event stream, we provide you the capability to preview the data and also can test the result. You can see the result immediately. And you can we also provide the debugging tools. So you can do the real-time validation and the performance tuning. So this is how our SQL looks like. So for a second question that I want to, hey, what's the difference with the normal SQL? Yeah, I, I'm going to come to that one. So the, the windowing function is a unique addition comparing to the normal SQL. So uh, eventually we will provide the tumbling window, hopping window, sliding window, session window, et cetera. So all of them are introduced for specific scenarios. For example, for the tumbling window, you can say, hey, tell me how many trees are published in the past 10 seconds. That's template window. Uh, for sliding window, for example, you can tell me to say, hey, please alert me if this topic got mentioned three times in the past 15 seconds. So they are introduced for different uh, purposes. And all these constructs help you to track the trend, detect the anomaly, or, or can help you to respond to the events as they occur, all in SQL. Awesome. <laughs> that, that's great. I mean, I, I think like what I, I've seen is like, you can use a lot of your SQL skills. And in fact, it just kind of expands on top of that and gives you a little bit more additional functionality and integrates really nicely with all these other features and factors that play into Fabric RTI. Now, I have to ask, like, we'd love to see this in action if you have something you can show us. Oh, that's great. So let me show you. OK, I have a demo. So let's take a look at how this looks like. So in Fabric, that you can click this real-time button. Here is that you can have a list of all your streams. And by opening this, this is how a event stream looks like. In this case, we have the real-time stock data coming in. You can see the price high, low, and uh, you can see the stock simple, et cetera. And uh, in, by entering the edit mode, you can also connect to new data sources. And uh, here, you can browse all the connectors that we have. Specifically for this stock case, you can use the HTTP connector. There are a lot of vendors in the market, they publish the stock real-time data through the API calls. This one, you just implement, you just uh, give the information, then we will connect and fetch the data for you. Once data land here, you can select the operators. Here, let's say, talk about the SQL operator. We have two examples. So in the, in the first one, as you can see here, this is very familiar to your normal SQL. So we have the cast, the select, the where, join, et cetera. So you can leverage all your SQL skills to manipulate data. Also, it does a good, uh, good job of work with the semi-structured uh, semi JSON data. So yeah, and then that we can take a, take a look at another example, the second SQL operator. So in this one, as we mentioned that this one is using the, you can run analytics over a time window. So here we are using a five minutes tumbling window to calculate the rolling metrics, like average, minimum, or max, et cetera. So by using that, you can uh, classify your price positions relative to the intraday high or low. So help you to unlock the insights that aren't possible with the traditional uh, batch SQL. After adding your SQL operator, you can publish this topology. And when you publish, the data will flow to your destination, like the event house or activator. 
Now let's talk about this actuator. In the athletic case that you can open this actuator, you can see the data is flowing in, you can define the rules. So to define the rule, you have a condition. So what condition these are going to be triggered and what action to take. For the demo purposes, we'll say, hey, when the volume exceeding a certain value, please send me a team message. So in Mickey, it will send you the team message, look like this. Now let's take a look at our second destination, that's event house. You have the raw data, you also have the curated data. You can take a quick look like the data looks like, okay, as it, as it appears, it uh, uh, aligns with our expectation as our SQL, SQL operator does. Now, if you want to build a real-time dashboard, you can just a single click to say, using the copilot, build a real-time dashboard for me. Then within two seconds, this one can go to read your data, read your schema, and then generate a real-time dashboard for you. Okay, as you can see that you, you can build more complex, more beautiful dashboard than this, but this is just an illustration. Also, you can change the refresh rate. You can even change it to continuously. So whenever when data, new data come in, this will get refreshed. So that wraps our demo. So a showcase of the rich connectors for ingestion, SQL transformation, real-time dashboarding, alerting with activator for all the live uh, stock data. Wow. Okay, so that's, this is demo. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty powerful. I feel like right after we get off this, I'm gonna have to go play with this. Um, and, and maybe that's a good lead-in for for one of my next questions is like, if I'm mm -hmm. using SQL database today, like if I have data sitting in SQL database today, um, mm -hmm. how do I begin streaming it into Fabric for real-time processing? Oh, that's a good one. So if you already have data in SQL database, we already have a lot of things for you. So we have this change data capture CDC. So we can get the CDC from the Azure SQL database, custom CDC for custom DB, Azure SQL MI, SQL, uh, Azure Postgres SQL, or uh, Data Flora, and et cetera. A lot of them are coming. So once you have the CDC data, now you can do the incremental processing. So instead of processing the whole table that had been there for 20 years, you can just uh, look at what happened in the past uh, uh, several seconds and then react uh, based on that change feed. And awesome. beyond the change connectors, you can also have our messaging. You have you, we, you can leverage the messaging brokers, streaming brokers, and the events. So when, a little bit about this events, a lot of customers have their data in Azure Blob Storage. They can say, hey, when a new file dropped into this Blob Storage, please let me know. And then we are going to send the event. Then you can use that event to trigger the pipeline to do whatever you wanted to do. And for the feed, I don't have to mention that we have multiple feeds coming in, but we start with the weather feed. So you can, con we help you to connect to a real time uh, weather data source. And then from there, you just uh, select a location. It will give the real time uh, weather data. And then the stock data are also demoed. There are more of them are coming. Awesome. That is great to hear. Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, for folks in the SQL world, like I know our teams have been working really closely together. So we can't announce yeah. anything at this point, but like, Folks should watch this space because uh, yes. <laughs> we know these are things that uh, the, the customers want here. So that's awesome to see. I think uh, one more question I have for you is like, you showed us uh, Event Stream. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about Event House? Like what, once something lands there, then what do I do? Yeah, okay. So when the things are landing in Event House, you have multiple, uh, multiple uh, ways. The first one, as you can see in this screenshot, we already provide you the copilot. So you, using Copilot, you can use the nat natural language to ask a Copilot to write a key QR query for you. To do the summary, do, you can just uh, define it, and it will give you the right uh, SQL query. You can copy, paste, and run the query. And if you don't want to use a key QR, that's also fine. K event House also offer the SQL mode. So you can just the same as Event Stream, you can write your SQL query. And it also provides you the uh, whenever you have the query, you can, after you write, you can pin that result to that real-time dashboard. And also, as I just demoed that it can, gen with the Copilot help, it can generate a real-time dashboard for you. And based on my experience, that's a very powerful feature. And the last one is the data, data agent. I think for that one, you can also use a data agent using the natural language. You interact with the data, both in one lake and in event house. Awesome, cool. Well, Alicia, uh, thanks so much for for joining us. I personally learned a lot, and I'm excited to learn more, get my hands on more, and also see what the team, both the teams, are working on together to deliver better solutions for folks. Um, for our viewers, if you're watching this episode, we'll put some links in the description below for you to learn more. Leave us a comment and let us know what kind of scenarios you're exploring or any feedback you have. 
Uh, and we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed.